Welcome to the Nintendo Wiretap. My name is Amiibo Jason, and on today's episode, we're taking a look at some absolutely mind-blowing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate artwork from a source you might not expect. So, without further ado, let's take a look. Now, believe it or not, it's been one month since the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but that's the case. And to celebrate this momentous occasion, I want to take a look at some absolutely gorgeous Super Smash Bros. artwork from a gentleman named Raph Grissetti. Now, if the name Raph Grissetti sounds familiar, it's because he's the art director of 2018's God of War. And if you've ever played God of War, it's gorgeous. The character models, the monsters, the landscapes, they all just look stunning. So, as of late, Mr. Grissetti has been taking to Twitter and sharing some gorgeous Super Smash Bros. Ultimate reimaginings of characters like Link, Samus, and even Bowser. Okay, first up, let's take a look at Link. Link looks like he came straight out of Skyrim, and that's fine with me. Now, this is the most human Link has ever looked. Every other iteration of Link has always seemed to be a bit more cartoony, so seeing something like this is definitely bizarre, but honestly, if Nintendo ever did want to go this route, I'd be fine with that. Next up, we have Samus. In this case, Samus looks pretty similar to how she's always looked, except her suit looks to be a tad bit bigger. But besides that, I can totally get behind this reimagining. Now next up, we have Fox McCloud. Now Fox looks a bit beefier, I guess that's the right word, than he normally does. He also looks to be a bit taller too. This is a very different reimagining of Fox, but again, this is another one I could easily get behind. Okay, now this one's my favorite by far. This one is Bowser. Now this thing looks like it came straight out of a Japanese monster movie, and he looks terrifying. I think that's amazing. I would love to see a terrifying Bowser. Bowser's kind of been a more lovable, goofier character in the past, so I think it's time for Bowser to get a terrifying makeover. This is, again, my favorite one out of all of these. Now next up, we have Sonic the Hedgehog. This one is tough for me because this could really be what Sonic is going to look like in the live action movie, but we're going to have to wait to find out. So I'm going to reserve my judgment on this one for a little bit longer. And finally, it looks like he is working on one additional one, and that appears to be Mewtwo. No idea what this one's going to look like yet, but I can't wait to see. Now, what do you guys think about this artwork? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it looks great? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you haven't yet, check out the originals over at Raph Grissetti's official Twitter account. I have that link in the description down below. And that's going to wrap up tonight's Nintendo Wiretap. I'll see you soon with yet another episode, but until then, stay wired in. Bye, guys.